So let us see this question number 8 from this paper now. So first one, in the given figure alongside ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay, this ABCD is a parallelogram and AM is perpendicular to DC. Okay, AM is perpendicular. DC is the base, then AM is the height. And AN is perpendicular to CB. Okay, if you take the CB as the base and this AN is the height. The same parallelogram. And AM value is 6 cm, BC is 10 cm. Area of the parallelogram is given. So we need to find out AB, AN and area of this stadium triangle and triangle AMB. Let us find it one by one. Let me take the diagram. So in this given AM is perpendicular to DC. So in parallelogram. Let us take the parallelogram. So in this this is A B C D is a parallelogram. A B C and D. From the point A should draw a perpendicular line to the B C. That line is it should be perpendicular. Exactly. So this is perpendicular line again from A to the base CD. And this is one more. This is also perpendicular. So it's intersecting the point BC at M and it is here. Okay. Now let us see the given data and we will solve this problem simple. So given details is AM is perpendicular to DC. Okay, this is given and AN is perpendicular to BC and also AM value. So AM is uh, 6 centimeters and BC is 10 centimeters. So area of the parallelogram base into height that formula will apply to find out what we require. Okay, AM is uh, 6 centimeters. This is the height is given and BC is 10 centimeters. If DC is the base and AM is the height, then you can find out DC. If you know DC value, that is equal to AB. Okay, now from this base into height is area. So if you have AN and BC, BC is the base and height is AN, that is equals to area of the parallelogram that is 75 centimeter square because uh, area of parallelogram is given. So area of uh, parallelogram ABCD 75 centimeter square that is given. That's why base into height. Now BC is 10. So 10 into AN is 75. Then from this AN value you can find out. AN is equal to 75 by 10. That is 7.5 centimeters. That is A to L. So we need to find out here AB and AL. AB also you need to find out. If to get the AB you can find out that is DC. Okay, next again, if the base is DC and DC into the height is AM is equal to same again 75 centimeter space. If the BC you should find out AM is given. In the place of DC you can take AB because opposite sides are equal in parallel. AM is 6, that is 75. From this, AB is equal to 75 by 6. That is 25 by 2, 12.5. 12.5 centimeters. Okay. AN is 7.5 and AB is 12.5 centimeters. These two is asked. And next is area of ADM and area of ANB. Okay. ADM. ADM area is this. So this triangle area 
and A and B. This triangle, these two triangles areas, a ratio you should find out. That means first of all you will prove this both are similar. Then from these two triangles you prove similar, then you can use the ratio of property. So in triangle AMD and triangle AMB. From this both opposite angles are equal in parallelogram. That is angle ADM is equals to ABN. These two angles are equal because opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Opposite angles of parallelogram. Are equal the property of line and two angles are right angles are given therefore angle AMD is right angle because perpendicular lines and angle A and B these both are right angles so right angle is 90 degrees they are equal by A axiom these two triangles are similar therefore triangle AMD is similar to triangle AMB. Whenever two triangles are similar, then properties area of triangle AMD by area of triangle ABN or AMB. That is so AM square, AM square by AM square. We can take separately this both square of this so according to property the area ratio of areas is equal to squares of the corresponding sides so am square by am square now am value and an value what so am value substitute that is 6 and an value already found that also you can substitute here an is 7.5 so am is 6 square by and this 7.5 square by substituting this so 6 square is 36 7.5 into 7.5 multiply you can simplify see a 3 table cancel it 3 in 3 12 so 3 to the 6 5 again 3 table 3 4 is 12 and 2.5 so finally 4 by 2.5 2.5 you can simplify more that you want ratio 4 by 6.25 you can write 625 by 100 right and simplify 100 if you take above that is 400 by 625 25 table, 25, 25 is and 25, 16 So finally 16 by 25. So this is the ratio. Therefore, the ratio is equals to so area of triangle ADM is to area of triangle A and B. That is equals to 16 is to 25. Okay. The main property is ratio of areas, is squares of the corresponding sides. By using this, you can find out this. Now, this is about first one. Let us see next question. Using the remainder theorem, find the value of A. If the division of x cube plus 5x square minus ax plus 6 by x minus 1 leaves the remainder is 2a. Simple problem x minus a is divisible by x minus a means x is equal to 1. The substitute x is equal to 1. Then remainder must be 2a. So, let us take the equation. this so given f of x is x cube plus 5x square minus ax plus 6 okay and given f of x is divided by x minus 1 okay when f of x is divided by x minus 1 then remainder is 2a. Remainder is 2a. Then 
f of 1 because x minus is divided by x minus 1 then f of 1 is equals to 2a in the place of x 1 will substitute so 1 cube plus 5 into 1 square minus a into 1 plus 6 is equals to 2a from this 1 cube is 1 plus 5 so 6 plus 6 12 so 12 minus a is equals to 2a then 3a is equals to 12 so from this a is equals to 4 value of a is 4 this is the simple sum let us see the next question in this uh, in the given figure oa bc is a parallelogram okay. and angle of inclination of oc 60 degrees the coordinates of b are given that is 4 comma 3 find the equation of side oc oc is side equation and side bc side ab and diagonal ob also these four equations you should find out okay let us take the problem In this angle of inclination is given so let me draw a diagram x n y axis and here is a parallelogram parallelogram on this OA BC is a parallelogram here OA BC is a parallelogram and angle of inclination is 60 degrees okay. X and Y so we can find out the slope now first of all we will see the side OC first one for side OC then angle is equals to tan theta right so angle is given 60 degrees so tan 60 tan 60 is root 3 and which is passing through ohm is 0 comma 0 so this is 0 comma 0 and passes then equation of OC equation of the side OC is point slope formula apply so y minus y1 is equals to m into x minus x1 this is point slope form by applying this 0 comma 0 is x1 comma y1 so y minus 0 is equals to root 3 into x minus 0 so y is equals to root 3x okay this is the equation of OC and CB side CB which is parallel to x axis right and passing through B is given 4 comma 3 4 comma 3 side BC we need to find out it's simple it is exactly parallel to x axis then y is equals to 3 because x value is 0 so this equation of BC so if you have side BC which is parallel to x axis so parallel to x axis and passing through 4 comma 3 which is passes through 4 comma c then y is equals to 3 okay. which is parallel to x axis y is equal to k so but y is equal to 3 formula and side bc next to side a we will find out if you want side equation of side a b is which is parallel to o c same opposite sides are parallel so parallel to oc means same slope is same so slope is equals to root 3 and passing through 4 comma 3 point is 4 comma 3. point slope parallel apply that is same y minus 3 is equals to root 3 into x minus 4 by simplifying this root 3 x minus y take this side plus 3 minus 4 root 3 is equal to 0. Okay. This is the side AB. And diagonal OB is simple because O is the 0, 0, B is 4, 3. And next diagonal OB. 
So this is the equation of diagonal, so which is passes through passes through 0 comma 0 is O and B is 4 comma 3. So two point form. So required equation is y minus y1. So equation formula if you observe two points form. That is y minus y1 is equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. This equation of straight line passing through two points. Okay, x1, y1, x2, y2. Just applying this y minus 0 is equals to 3 by 4 and x minus 0. Just by simplifying this, 4y is equal to 3x. From this, 3x minus 4y is equals to 0. Right? This is the equation of the diagonal. Four equations. This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So by using the formula only, you can find out simple. This is about question number 8. Now let us see question number 9 with solve problems.